Pase más y vieron la vez. Fíjate eso, fíjate eso, María. Viva de Mira, mira, arigero, parigueso, parigero, parigueso, 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 from the big roads. I picked the city that I had been a fool to take a car. Anybody will know me in it, and if I left it took to my feet, I should soon get couch. As I was thinking of what I was to do, I saw the airplane again. Down a hill I went as fast as I could, and was looking around to see where it was when suddenly, when I suddenly heard another car, my heart gave me a roar, but too late. I did only the thing. I called to the avoid the crash and ran into the hedge. The car went toward the hedge towards a steep hillside. I stood up and was going to jump out if 
where the prance of the tree lifted me out. The, the cow ran on the, the top of the edge of the 50 yards below. The hunt took me out. But the armored boys asked me if I was hurt. I found myself looking at a tall young man. I'm sorry, sir. I saved. It was my fault. There, that's the end of the song, Scott's mother talk, but I meet my husband at the end of the man's life. He took off the water, and look at it, you are the right sort of yellow, he says. I can spare a quarter of an hour, will you take the home? I can spare a quarter of an hour, will you take your home and put you up to bed? Where are your things? In the rival with the cars? In my pocket, I says, showing him to my jabras. Three minutes later we drew up before Houston stood with me waiting. He took me first to a bedroom and gave me some clothes to put on and then I had a cup of tea while he was talking. You can take some food in your pocket and we will have a supper when we get back. I got to speak at a political meeting at Prattleburg. By the by, you haven't told me your name? To his stomp, well, you see, there was another man coming to speak to, but I had to telegram from him up afternoon saying that he had to cut influence at Blackboard, and here I am and left to do the whole of things alone. Now you got to be good, Jab, and help me. Alright, I said, I'm not m much good as a speaker, but I will tell them a bit about Australia. At this point, he seemed to forget all his troubles. He janked me, and then a few minutes later, we were into his car. On the way, he told me his uncle was in the government and that his family wanted him to go to into politics. Altogether, he was a very nice young man. As we passed the throat, a little town, two policemen signaled to us to stop. Pick your pardon, Sir Harry, said one. We ordered us to look out for your cars, and it's much like yours. All right, said Sir Harry. Well, I thank God for being saved. The next thing I knew, we had drove up outside of the door in the street, and we were being welcomed by a number of gentlemen who took us into the hall with about 500 people in it. Sir Harry spoke very badly. He was looking at his nose all the time, and he soon as he lost one, he did not know what to say. He said a lot of nonsense about social reform, and Germany and Britain working together in peace. And yet, I like it to speak. I did not get so badly. I told him all I could remember. I put the Australia hoping that there should be no Australia there. I think I was rather a success. When we were in the car again, Sir Harry was in wild spirit at having got his job over. A fine speed wisdom, he said. Now you are coming home with me. I'm all alone, and if you stop a day or two, I'll show you some good fishy. We had supper, and then I sat down at the fire to smoke. Listen, Sir Harry, I said, hi, I have. Something very important to tell you. Where did you get that nonsense about the Germany from? His face fell. Was it as bad as that? I cut it out of the newspaper, but you surely don't think Germany will ever go to war with us. Ask that question in six weeks and it won't need an answer. I said if you will listen to me in a half hour, I'm going to tell you a story. I can still see that room and Sir Harry standing before the fire and myself lying back in an armchair. Speaking, it was the first time I ever told anybody the truth, and it did me no end of good. So you see, I say, you have got here in your house the man who is wanted for the Langham Place murder. Your duty is to send for police and keep me up. He looked at me while I smiled. I believe you, Mr. Hannah. I'm going to help you. Now, what I can see, too. First, I want you to write a letter to your uncle. No, that's not good, but I'll write to my godfather, he's in the foreign office, what do you want? He sat down on the table from the letter telling his godfather that I might call a twist of camp to him before John of 50, he wants to help him as well he could. He said to the pro he was a twist on and nobody else, he won't say the words Blackstone and Whistle and Larry. Could say Sir Harry, you found my good father at this country house. It is their art as well. No doubt's the next thing. Let me some clothes, and if the police come here, just show them the car in the driver. If the other men turn up, tell them I took the South Express after your meeting. At two o'clock, he woke me from my sleep with the smoking room armchair and led me into the night. He found an old bicycle which he handed over to me. By sunrise, you will be dwelling the hills. 
then I shall throw the bicycle into the lake and walk on. You can like leave with more and more the ship here for a week as so you were in the new queen here. The adventure of the roadman. The next morning I was at about the hill from the where I called to control the district around me. Half of my life smoke come from a cottage city. It was a very interesting life. life. Otherwise there was only the calling of the birds and the sound of the little streams. It was now up or seven o'clock and I was awaiting. I heard once again a noise from the air. I sat quite still. Then I saw an airplane coming up from the east. It was flying high, but as I looked at the trap at morning hundred feet and began to circle around the hills. My first job was now to keep going for the next three weeks. It was now the twenty-third of the May and that me twenty days before 